I want people to have access to cleaner brands, whether it's protein powders or greens powders, pre-workouts, or just like everyday supplements, or even just things in their house. Like kind of set a standard with my own website and just really support the brands that I think are just doing a really great job and introduce my followers to that. So I started Live Healthily. It launches on Monday, March 29th. Welcome back to another episode of All Over the Place with Lane Fable. I'm your host, Lane Fable, and I just realized I didn't have my rings on. I feel naked. I actually remembered to have mine on, so. Well, if, if there's one person that has prepared for today, it is Illy, because <laughs> if you guys are watching on YouTube, this is a completely different setup. Uh, last minute, we had to switch up our uh, production area. Yeah. So thank you for your patience for that. I got you. Thank you for coming on again, because I was just re-listening to our other episode in preparation for this, and... I mean, we covered a little bit of everything in that. Yeah, that was jam-packed. One of my favorite episodes. It's so entertaining, too. I love our banter. Basically, I love you. My whole podcast is me professing my love for the <laughs> guest. I just think like, I love you. I love everything you do. So, Illy, if you don't know, if this is the first episode that you're listening or watching her, make sure you go listen to our first episode. But I realized the whole last episode, too, I was saying Illy, and it's Healthily is your brand. Yeah, like, Healthily. My name's Illy, but it's Healthily, yeah. Like, live healthily. So yeah. that is actually something that, let's start off with, I'm the most excited for. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she just launched her, well, let me pull up my notes, like a good podcast host, because I had something planned, but everything went out the window when I had to move everything congratulations are definitely in order since our last episode she has launched her own clean online market called out numerous massive companies for the shit that they put into their supplements <laughs> and she's blown up across all of her social media platforms like yeah. the growth is amazing because you are bringing great knowledge to people and it is being so well received Thank so you, yeah. start with anything you want either you know <laughs> your new live healthily market or calling people out on tiktok yeah i mean i think both both topics need to be discussed because it's sure. just so intense but yeah so i started live healthily it launches on monday march 29th so the day that this comes out actually so go yeah shop. so it's a lot it's a lot um all at once yeah like if anyone's been following me for a while my whole thing was just i want people to have access to cleaner brands whether it's protein powders or greens powders pre-workouts or just like everyday supplements or even just things in their house like candles and body wash um because we don't realize i think many people don't realize and that's why maybe my page has grown is because i've been shedding light on all the chemicals and the toxins that we are being introduced to whether we know or not and even things that we think are clean are not really clean so i just wanted to kind of set a standard with my own website and just really support the brands that I think are just doing a really great job and introduce my followers to that because I feel at least with myself I feel like I'm always shopping on like 20 different sites to get like the best stuff and I was like this is like I'm spending so much on 20 different shipping costs and 20 different brands and I can't remember what I have a subscription to or what I don't so I was like I just want one place for everything and that's pretty much how that started. So I was like, I might as well just come out with my own website, my own market. And that's how Live Healthily really came to be. So obviously it's like a play on my own name, it's like Live Healthily, because my name's Illy and you could, healthily is a word too. So I just combined the two and then you just want people to live a healthy lifestyle. So I kind of just combined the two and I feel like it was like meant to be with the whole name and everything because it really is my motto. I really think everybody should be able to live a healthy lifestyle and it should be as easy as possible. You know, it shouldn't be as complex as so many brands make it for us. So that's kind of how that started. And you're definitely facilitating that. I mean, I can't tell you the first she came in and I was like, do I have anything to drink? And I go into the fridge. And I'm like, hey, you've <laughs> influenced this purchase, this purchase. Now I drink this because of you. Like Olipop is my new favorite. Mm -hmm. She brought me one last time. It's all those things. And you definitely have a tangible influence on people. And I hope the brands realize because, I mean, they will, especially with your market. I know you've been in touch with them. Yeah. It's impressive because I've never seen something with such synergy of across everything. It's working really, really well. And like yeah. I've been touched personally by it. And that's why I'm like, 
off birth control yeah. shop way different eat way different like everything and it truly is like I said I look through like an illy lens whenever I go <laughs> shopping and stuff now but it's so true yeah it's it's funny because when I first started like I was obviously I started about three years ago but I've been like in fitness for eight years so it's like almost a freaking decade of my life I've been in fitness but like I only truly have felt healthy the past three or so years you know when I first started like the biggest thing was like there weren't a lot of brands as there are now I think I feel like the health industry has just really started booming over like the past two two years max um so like my biggest thing is when people have never experienced their li- this this lifestyle they're always like oh like natural brands are like they don't work as good as regular brands or like protein powder like clean protein powders don't taste as good or like clean this don't taste as good it tastes like chalk it tastes like dirt it tastes like this but i've managed to find a million amazing products that a million's a little dramatic but like hundreds <laughs> of amazing products that don't taste like dirt taste just as great and most of the time like the swaps that i've made most people don't even realize the difference, you know? So it's like something simple like switching my ketchup from one with high fructose corn syrup to one that's just an organic ketchup. You're not going to see much of a big difference, right? Maybe it'll be a little less sweet, but like it's still good stuff, you know? So just introducing people to cleaner, a cleaner lifestyle and understanding that not everything has to taste like dirt to be healthy, you know? And I think it's just having the knowledge of knowing what, ingredients in it are not healthy because so many people like we're not taught that and I don't know why it's funny that you bring up ketchup because we had burgers the other night there was a ketchup that was like literally it said organic no added sugar but they Mm -hmm. put sucralose in it Mm -hmm. and it tasted like that synthetic sugar gum Mm -hmm. like the chewing gum that makes your stomach hurt and I was like this is trash but yeah that's how like companies get away with adding things like this because sucralose is obviously a artificial sweetener so Technically, it's not sugar, right? So they could say sugar-free because that's true. There is no actual like cane sugar or whatever, but it's just crazy how marketing in general has managed to make us scared of real sugar, but fine with synthetic sweeteners. Or leads to so many things like weight gain and like really disrupt the microbiome, which has like a ripple effect with everything from our hormones to our immune system. So it's one of those things where it's like, why are we so afraid of real sugar you know sugar from fruits i have people who are like i won't eat a fruit right because they research that but then they have no problem eating like a like protein powder with 10 different synthetic sweeteners it's really weird how people pick and choose and they only really decide to start doing research when it's like herbs or like real food all of a sudden it's like oh i don't know how i feel about that diet it's a whole food diet i've heard that this that and the other but then they'll hop on the bandwagon of like these tide pod protein powders you know I, I mean, we can do a whole episode just based on like, there's so many things we could, we could divide them up, yeah. <laughs> but I really do want to talk about your, you know, blow up on TikTok because they're very real world repercussions now that brands are faced with. Mm-hmm. So tell me a little bit what you did on TikTok and what that ensued. Yeah. So it was weird because the TikTok that actually blew up that like got me really ahead of the game, like it literally gave me like 10 to 20,000 followers within within a week easily um and it was literally just me sharing kind of how fitness just because you're skinny or just because you're fit doesn't automatically make you healthy and i guess so many people resonated with that because again i've been a personal trainer for eight years so i've always been very physically fit i've very i've always been on top of my macros and my calories and like eating my high protein diet which is supposedly healthy right i mean which it is a high protein diet but i was eating synthetic sources of protein and not real protein but I still was struggling with hormonal problems, gut problems, acne, migraines, and chronic bloating in my stomach where it was like hard and it hurt and I felt like I couldn't eat anything, but I was like, I don't get it. Like I'm eating, I'm, I'm eating, you know, chicken rice, broccoli, asparagus, I'm eating oatmeal in the morning, I'm eating my eggs and I'm eating, you know, my protein powders that are healthy, mm-hmm. right? So it was just weird. And I just shared that, I shared that 60 second story of like, how fitness doesn't always equal health, right? That's like two completely different things. And I learned that the hard way. And a lot of people resonated with it. Over 500,000 people resonated with it. So I was like, clearly, you know, there's a lot of anecdotal evidence that's going on with people who are just saying like, hey, if I Google this, it's not telling me 
hey, just because you're fit doesn't mean you're healthy. It's saying like, oh, you're fit and according to your labs, everything looks good, but why do I still feel like garbage? And I've been to numerous doctors. I've been to numerous specialists. Mm -hmm. Somewhere I had to wait months to even get a appointment because they're like so elite just for them to tell me oh yeah i don't know you look great i'm like i didn't spend my you know my money for you to tell me this because obviously i know i don't feel good you know um so yeah that was kind of the one that blew up and from there people just wanted to know more and wanted to know how and really it's about me sharing that i started paying attention to what's in my food i started dropping all my shitty supplements that i was finding at gnc right like what the hell is in this and i was looking at this and i was realizing that the ingredients that I've, I try to avoid in my food, like the sugar and the artificial sweeteners, are also in my fitness supplements. But I kind of just pushed it to the side because I just thought, I don't know, that yeah. like because it's a fitness supplement, it's good for me. I don't know. It's just like a or weird thing. Or that they'd be looking out for that. Yeah, you would think, right? But you now, yeah, and now that I'm like separated from like the actual like Instagram or fitness community and I've, I've shifted more to the wellness community... I've never seen more of just like a gaping hole between the two. Like it's it's crazy like what goes on. And I've been I've been attacked by numerous, you know, accounts that are part of like fitness influence like fitness influencers and they're like, you know, if I want to eat a donut, I could eat a donut. It doesn't mean I'm bad. I'm like, it's funny because you think the only junk food you're having is that donut. Yeah. It, that's funny to me that you think that that's the only thing, but it's like I could name numerous chemicals that you're ingesting every single day that are the equivalent of having a donut for multiple meals a day you know but it's like because they're not taught that and because the brands are just obviously protecting their own ass they don't know you know and it's like you have client now you're gonna have clients or your clients are all coming to me because they're like i don't know i was following this chick's um 60 day guide and i feel even worse and i'm like well yeah because she's telling you to eat this crappy protein powder that has all these different chemicals in it that are contributing to your gut problems and it's just it's a mess also a lot of times it's like oh substitute real food for this shake oh my god and it blows my mind because i'm like i understand if you're in a pinch you know or like you're you're trying you have a really one day that's like super fast you don't get up early enough and you're like i'm just gonna have this shake but Mm -hmm. if you aren't gonna eat real food i don't know how you think your body's gonna actually run properly but that's one thing I mean, luckily, like I've been following you for a while and I've had some knowledge to it previously. So I've always kind of felt that way. But I'm realizing just how many people have zero knowledge because it's not taught in school. Mm -hmm. It's if your parents don't know, you're kind of at a loss. Like you're at the mercy of your parents for this, Mm -hmm. especially if you're young and you don't. I mean, now you have a cell phone, so you're fine. But like when we were younger, you ate what your parents gave you. Like there was no wait, mom, like we should try this or. Yeah. And that, that that's also like a good observation just because people think that I was just like born into this holistic lifestyle like I wish people could see what I was eating when I was growing up it was like I was on a mac and cheese and dino chicken nugget diet like that was all I ate and like yo it slapped back then though I'm not gonna that's lie. Some, that Be- just slapped. before you have the knowledge and you know ignorance is bliss that yeah. was it a hundred percent and like that's literally what I ate like I was like any other kid I ate you know uncrustables which still slap you know it's yeah. like th- that was my diet it was mostly <laughs> processed foods yeah and i loved it and i didn't think anything of it so i just got into this three years ago like does any like do people really think like i wanted to up uproot my entire life and flip it upside down and like have to f- now go on a three-year hunt for like brands that i actually like absolutely not so yeah. it's just it's so weird when i get people who come and they're like oh my god like this must be so easy for you i'm like i don't think you know if you haven't been following me for a while it was not easy when i first started you know yeah i think it's also it's much easier to be upset and angry at something that you don't already know especially if it's like hey something you're doing could be potentially harming you yeah um so just maybe look at it this way and people don't want to accept that they're wrong and i don't mean that in like a negative way way but it's just people's defense mechanism and it's yeah. it's like human nature to just be like no you're wrong i'm not wrong you're wrong it's yeah like, it's, the, it's like you're you're equating back to being five years old in kindergarten and having your first argument it's also just food is an emotional thing for a lot of people mm-hmm. so and on top of that at least what i've seen in like the fitness community is so many people are emotionally attached to the people who are selling these supplements 
and that's their way of supporting them. So mm-hmm. it's like when I come for the supplement, I'm not coming for the people, like the influencers that are promoting it. Like they can always learn and yeah. they could always do better. And you hope that they're not having the same effects that you have. Yeah, which is crazy because a lot of them are, but they're just oblivious to it. And I've there's a lot that's been going on kind of just behind the scenes with because obviously as my account's growing, more people are contacting me and I have, you know, fitness trainers who are been on, who have millions of followers who have been DMing me lately like on the low and they're like we need a tell all because, you know, I used to be sponsored by this company and then when I decided I didn't want to be sponsored by them anymore, it was like I meant nothing to them. You know, it was yeah. like, "Oh, are you kidding?" You know, it was just like complete abuse. Did they let them know that they were having like adverse effects from their product yeah so a few a few people who've messaged me said that yes and it really just turned into like you better not say anything like or or it was just gaslighting Mm -hmm. where it's like you know our products don't do that you know but it's like that's how i feel clearly did to me yeah they did to me right so it's like how are you gonna deny my experience with your supplement you know or people who are you know i do get a lot of comments like well i feel fine taking the supplement so that means you must feel fine and it's like i do think maybe there are some people who are taking a certain supplement and yeah maybe they feel fine but like to me i'm like what's fine that's the first thing and two i don't think people realize that the people who do feel fine are really the minority in all of this because i can't even tell you how many how many messages i've gotten message after message from people who are like I felt like garbage taking this supplement. I don't know if you're comfortable calling out any of the brands, but I think, actually, no, go follow Illy's TikTok and you'll see all of it. What I love the most is you do it seriously and you do have a little bit of, you, you've got a little bit of a... Because I don't play games. You, yeah, you have like, I don't, fire behind it because yeah, it's personal. It is personal because this is, this is, these are products that I've taken for such a long time. And it's also to a point where I'm talking to these CEOs. You know, I've spoken to the CEOs, uh, the CEO or the co-founder of Alani New. I've had good discussions with him, you know. Um, I've had the CEO of Ghost Protein. Okay, I'm so glad you're... Dr- I was going to say... Comment, you know, my post that, you know, I've, I've spoken to these people. I've spoken to First Form and their head of loyalty, you know, um, which that was pretty much damage control for them. Because whatever I post, people are going to repost it and they know the power Mm -hmm. that I now have. And that's like not even to be like, I have the power. But it's like I have a bigger following now and people are passionate about this stuff. So they're going to repost it and they're going to say, stop using this brand. So what they try to do is they try to do damage control with me. And I'm like, the damage has been done. There's nothing else to control. The control would be go back and make a better supplement. Because there's no reason why I should go onto the first form website and the and the first product that comes up onto the screen has artificial dyes in it. Like this is what is this? Mm-hmm. Like you have regular companies that like McDonald's and stuff that are getting rid of dyes in their own food, but a, a fitness company can't do that. And they have full control of everything. Full too. full control. So it's like you really have no excuse. So it really it to me it's a it's a whole lot of bullshit. And I don't, I, I don't stand for it because by the time they come out with a new product, it's, they know it's going to be time. They know they can't just snap their fingers and now, oh, I have a a beautifully made product. So I'm going to put my money in a brand who did it right from day one. Yeah. Why am I going to spend my money on you to get it together? And not even that. Why would you ever want to support a brand that when they are called out on that are nasty to you and block you? Because having a few of them blocked you. Yeah, so I had Bomar Nutrition block me. She's just, like, one of the worst, you know? And I, it's it's come to the point where I, like, because I always get comments, like, you don't have to bash them. And I'm like, it's come to the point where they have neglected people's reviews and deleted comments and deleted reviews of their products and blocked people to the point where it's like you are gaslighting the thousands of people who genuinely aren't having good responses from your products period i mean yes that is a like a part of it it's the you know reviews and everything you're ignoring people's voices but from the get-go you're supposed to be a fitness brand yeah you are supposed to help people live a fitter better healthier life because people equate fitness Mm -hmm. with health and now people are starting to realize it's not just that one realm it's also the food you eat the products you consume the products you have around that's another reason i mean obviously I started following you because I love the information, but I think you are one of the most transparent and like 
honest and real and you're not afraid to be like oh my god people are gonna get mad at me yeah or i could lose a follower over this like yeah. that is what people are afraid like that's what the brands are doing and you're just like no people need the real information yeah exactly i'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it you know and it's like i know i'm ticking people off because people are emotionally attached to not only the supplements because of all the chemicals in it that make you physically um addicted to them um but also to the fitness influencers like i said and the brand itself because they've seen just like people are watching me now create a brand and create a website and they can support me in that way people have done the same thing for fitness influencers which i get you know you you get to this point where now you can afford um and have the opportunities to create something but then you go out and you create a shitty product so it's like i of course there is a part of me that feels bad because this is somebody's you know how they get money um, but at the same time, it's it's come to a point where you're making money off of people's addiction and sickness. So, but I think it's you just hit the nail on the head perfectly. It's become just that. It's their way to make money. They don't actually care mm-hmm. if it's helping somebody else. They're like, this is my ticket to make hundreds of thousands or whatever. You know, like especially yeah. if they have that big of a following. And I don't know. Maybe it's just because. I would like to think that more people have a conscience and Mm -hmm. really do want the best for every other human being that they come in contact with or inspire. But it's, it's really become a cash grab. Like there's no other way to put it. Yeah. And I like that's since I've had the most um, discussions with just the founder of or co-founder of Alani New, that was the most evident thing that I saw was that it is strictly money, right? They're trying to be in every single market. They have skincare, they have CBD, they have their fitness supplements that it's not just protein, it's multivitamins, it's pre-workout, it's energy drinks, it's greens. And then on top of that, now they're coming out with like a coffee and then they're coming out or like a energy. Now they have um like hard seltzers. So it's like, Wait, how, what? yeah, they just came out with hard seltzers. What, what's, is it just Alani New? It's like an Alani New hard seltzer. So it's like a white claw, essentially. Bitch, so they're really, yeah. So they're really just trying to be in every single market. And when I see something like that, and it's like you're just making all, and you're just making all these crappy supplements. And now they're, they're even more accessible because now you can find them at Target. So this is like now you're hitting just lower income communities. Um, and just because Target is mostly like in those areas, and you're profiting off of people who just, that's all they have access to you know there isn't go- you're not gonna find that's the unfortunate part is you're just not going to find like a lot of the high quality organic stuff at the store so they know exactly what they're doing and yeah. he clearly has he's made it very clear that he just doesn't care he thinks that what i do is fear-mongering and that what i'm doing is for clout and i'm like what clout would be me trying to be an alani new athlete and yeah and having them repost your shit exactly because i'd have millions of followers by now and I'd, I'd be able to make my own supplement if i wanted clout that's what i would do i get way more backlash going the wellness route than i do the like the traditional tr- fitness influencer route you know so it's just very weird how triggered he when he feels triggered how he goes on to his ig and he tells like yeah like more clout chasers i'm like no it's more people just spreading the truth about your products because you go on your website and you delete all the negative comments and i've seen it firsthand where people screenshotted their review and it never gets posted so they know exactly what they're doing i mean and i understand at the end of the day like it's a business i get that and i understand how Mm -hmm. businesses work and of course what just is very disheartening is the fact that like i wonder like does he actually use his own products as he 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 does and he says he gives them to his children but at the end of the day i've seen what he feeds his child and i wouldn't even feed myself those things you know you have it's come to the point where you know he's recording his his kid eating his fit snacks and he's like crying to get more sugar and it's like do you not see that like you're setting the standard that like oh i wouldn't give it to my family but you also feed your child crap so it's like why are you using your child to market your fit snacks that's weird like that's just that's just not normal it's not even that it's just like knowing what's in it i mean i know there are some people they just that don't care. they don't care there are some people they don't that care i know like the whole health and wellness thing for them is like oh that's crazy like whatever people have been fine without it and it's like yes but people also have not been fine with while eating it exactly just giving your child this much that much junk you know because i i get the whole thing like in moderation right i get that 
right? Yeah, we just said dino nugget slap. Like. Yeah, I would have a dino nugget, you know, like, and people don't know, like, when I go to somebody else's house and, like, let's say you offered me, I don't know, whatever, like, pizza or something, I'm not going to just, like, be like, oh, sorry, like, I'm going to eat it, you know, like, whatever, I'm, I'm out, I'm out at a restaurant, I'm not going to be picky, I'm not going to make someone go out of their way to do certain things. Obviously, I'm blessed to not have, like, a serious, like, allergy or, like, immune disease that i i physically cannot have certain things like yeah it bothers me and it's not something i would do every single day mm-hmm. like if i'm somewhere longer like my boyfriend knows matt like he knows if we go if we go on vacation somewhere we go to a supermarket and we stock our fridge with foods that we know are not going to cause us harm or yeah. like hurt us like physically like i don't need to be bloated my whole vacation you know there is such thing as moderation but what people don't realize is you know when you look at food as a lens of what has been marketed as junk food and what hasn't been marketed as junk food. So I never looked at my fitness supplements as junk food because it's not marketed that way. Whereas a Krispy Kreme donut or like McDonald's is junk food, right? So I know to not have McDonald's every single day if Mm -hmm. I'm on a health journey, but I would never think to not have my fitness supplements every day because... I think they're healthy, you know, and that's the problem is people don't realize a lot of those items share the same ingredients. They're just marketed different. So, you know, especially with Alani New, they didn't like the fact that a lot of people wouldn't normally have a monster, right? Because the connotation behind a monster is like, I know that's bad for me. It's like a hard energy drink. It's called monster. Like, oh my God, so bad. I wouldn't have that every day. Maybe once in a blue. Yeah, most people wouldn't, you know, but Alani New... I made a comparison. They have all, they share all the same ingredients except three, which were just like vitamins that you would put in them. So they weren't even like change anything about them, but they share, they shared all the same ingredients. That's crazy. So the only thing you're paying for is the difference in the packaging. You're getting the same product. And I think that was a straw that broke the camel's back with him because then he officially unfollowed me. He didn't want any contact with me. So I was like, this is proof that you know you're making crappy products and you have nothing to say about it. Because if you did, you would use my post and change it. And you would see and you would show your followers like this isn't true, but this is the facts. I sat there and I compared both of them. Not even that. He would be so much smarter to be like, you know what? Thank you. We're taking into consideration. And then next round, you know, like change your manufacturing change what you do and then guess what you would be an advocate and then everyone else would then still use your products because they're using them blindly anyways yeah but if you actually just made them health healthily yeah then i i just it's it's mind-boggling to me but it's actually not as surprising because that is kind of the way of america right now it's Mm -hmm. like just make the packaging really white and airy and clean and I actually saw someone comment on yours like I've never touched Alani New because I knew their marketing was just it seemed too Good phony. To be true, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it seemed like it was too, try too hard to be clean. And I'm gonna be honest, I've never used them. I've never I, I stopped doing all that stuff after mm-hmm. I like almost cracked out on pre workout one time, a vegan one too, ve- a vegan one, yeah. as if that changes anything. But I just know that Alani New now that like you've pointed them out to me, I see it more, mm-hmm. and I'm just like wow, like that is so messed up the the reach they have and what they're actually doing and writing off as a health company. Yeah, I mean, because that's the thing and that kind of just goes full circle to like my original story where just because you're fit doesn't make you healthy, you know, because I could sit here and I could be promoting like an energy drink and be like, oh yeah, this or this pre-workout or this protein powder that's so that, you know, I look great, I have my six-pack abs showing and then they're just like, promoting this as healthy because hey like look how good i am and i've been taking this that's visually appealing to a lot of people and they're like well if they're taking that and they look like that then if i take that i'll can i can look like that too and i'll feel as energetic as this person and as great whatever but that was me and i didn't feel great i felt worse and now i'm gonna be 28 years old and i'm like all this all this junk that i was eating is catching up with me and i wasn't People always wonder like, oh, were you just, were you taking like the recommended? I'm like, yeah, I was taking it like anybody else would take it. I took my protein powder. If I couldn't get my protein in, I took my pre-workout before my, my workouts. I drank an energy drink. If I wanted one, you know, I would have my greens powder usually on a daily basis. 
I'm, I'm taking it like any other person, you yeah. know, because that's what people always like to say is like, oh, were you taking too much? And I was like, no, I took it like anybody else. Yeah. Can you explain that to me? I know they say a lot of the, you know, dose is the poison and yeah. <laughs> all of that. And that shit goes kind of right over my head because I'm just like, okay, I almost understand the whole mm-hmm. dose is the poison. Sure. Why would you ever even want to fucking touch the poison? Like, yeah. <laughs> where are we? Can we just get back to like what actually is going on? Yeah. So the dose makes the poison is what they're taught in toxicology. So obviously the amount that you're giving somebody is going to either kill, like show a res- show an effect or not. Right. So um, that's what I always get. It's like, oh well, the dose makes the poison, and you know you're not having like ten doses of you're not taking this chemical in here. Mm-hmm at once no but if i if i give this to you slowly over the course of five years maybe eventually we'll start to see a a bad reaction right because people automatically think like if i'm shooting something into my body i'm gonna like that's how i know i'm allergic to it i'm gonna get a reaction and that's the case for certain things like medication right you can only take two tylenols because if you take 20 you're gonna have a really serious problem Mm -hmm. that would be a good idea of where the dose makes the poison makes sense because you could really hurt yourself same thing with sleeping pills right take too many you're gonna die yeah that makes sense um the thing is with these artificial sweeteners is that if you have so this is the best way i can kind of explain it um so obviously we all have a toxic burden um everybody's is different depending on how healthy they are so if you have a functioning organs right so you're pooping two to three times a day which mm-hmm. most people aren't if sure, you're not getting sweating everything. every single day which most people aren't if you're not exercising vigorously right um peeing properly you know supporting your liver supporting your colon breathing fresh air which your lungs are a detox organ too so if you're not doing these things efficiently on a daily basis things aren't getting pushed out as easily as these scientists make it seem Mm -hmm. you know these are all based on optimal levels of people most of these studies that they're doing on people are pretty healthy people you know these aren't people who have autoimmune problems or gut problems or whatever it's already a healthy person all right and how is this affecting us so someone maybe like me is pushing out these toxins pretty well now i mean before obviously i wasn't so i'm peeing every day i'm pooping multiple times a day these toxins are easily coming out of my body what happens is is it's not just one thing these things start getting layered on and it causes an accumulation and our our organs are working overtime and by the time they get done or close to done getting rid of those toxins we've already added more and we've added more and we've added more and it starts to overflow And that overflow is what leads to migraines, acne, autoimmune disease, hormonal problems, gut problems. That's the overflow. And it can happen over the course of a a year, five years, 10 years, 30 years, you know? So that's the biggest thing, right? And that's why the dose doesn't always make the poison, just because we're all different and we all have different functioning organs. Like you're basing it off of a very healthy person. Um, And just like the second part of that is the whole... uh, if I'm, if let's say I, like they're allowed to put the minimum dose, right? Mm. That's what the FDA does. It makes sure that you're putting the minimum dose of a certain chemical, a certain artificial sweetener, right? So if I'm having the minimum dose in one thing, but then I'm having 10 other things with the minimum dose, that's no longer the minimum dose. It's, it's just concerning because it's not to make people fear anything or like yeah. actually be afraid. It's to give you the knowledge so then you can make your choices. Yeah, exactly. And I think people just, I mean, granted, going after like Alani knew that stuff is very much like, no, you probably should be afraid of that because the person behind that doesn't give a shit about you. Yeah, they don't. Even if they came out with like a very natural line now, I would know that they're just doing it for money. And they're not doing they're just doing it because that's where the market is is going really like because i know at the core your whole thing is you just want more people to be healthy yeah and i just think if they were to just change it would be fun like i yeah it'd be great for whoever's already using them the issue with them is that they won't admit that yeah. like they took out dyes that's the problem they won't admit this it. is the problem this is this is the funniest so they admitted that they took out dyes from their fit snacks from their gummy bears he refused to admit that it was because they're harmful. He literally said they took it out because of fear mongers like me. Oh, that's why he said they that's took him out. That's what he said. That's why, that, why, that's why they took him out. Oh, so instead question. of coming out with a statement and saying, 
hey, we've done research, we are an evolving company, and we, we base our products on research, so we decided that these dyes are harmful, and we no longer, but he knows that'd be a lawsuit, so whatever, but it's funny, because when McDonald's and Burger King and all that stuff come out, and they announce that they're getting rid of artificial ingredients, everybody's like, yay, finally, we already knew that, but we were still eating it, but like, thank you, we expect it, but yeah. we don't expect it from a fitness brand. Because if he says, yeah, these these dyes that I had in my fit snacks are linked to hypersensitivity, gut microbiome, and all these people are like, fuck, I've actually been having those exact issues. I'm filing a class action lawsuit on you. But the problem, my train of thought that I'm just, it's lost on me is that literally can already happen. I don't know why you wouldn't take the steps to get rid oh, yeah. of it now. And just, you know, start over. And guess what? You're going to reach more people when you start showing them that you are the brand that is being conscious of this and changing this and yeah. taking the next step for your consumer's health. They just don't want to. It's, <laughs> it's, it's it comes so, down to that. They just, it's crazy. They are coming out with a line, though, for Whole Foods, which is like an energy drink, I think, for Whole Foods. And he also, like, refused to admit, like, why he couldn't... If his, if his products are so healthy, why can't your... Why can't you just bring your regular energy drink into Whole Foods? And he wouldn't admit that it had to do with the artificial sweeteners. It, <laughs> he just like, and I don't even like, this isn't just the bash this one brand. This is just the one brand that I have. I've had the most um, interaction with. So it's like, I Absolutely. have something to base it off of, but yeah, it, it's to the point where it's like, these brands do not care. And like, I am connected now to so many brands that do like, I'm on like texting basis with a lot of these better brands and they're just genuinely good people that wants people to have better options like wholeheartedly like if i brought something up like for for example like a lot of people know i'm i'm affiliated with or organics so one of my really good friends dr christian gonzalez who does like every year he evaluates protein powders and the heavy metals in them so i dm'd him because i was like oh i realized or organics wasn't in it and they were in it last year and he goes oh they took really long to get me their heavy metal testing so uh i just like got a, I, I just went along with the thing the video without them and i was like oh that's interesting because they do have it like on the website blink he's like yeah i just wanted updated ones and i was like oh, okay that's fair so i literally texted my source at organics and i was like hey just want to let you know like i don't know if you saw this email whatever the whole situation and he's like oh my god thank you so much for telling us we're sending mm -hmm. him we're sending him them right now it's like yes this is how it should be done because yeah. He reached out to other brands. If you watch it, it's on his um, it's on his YouTube channel. But it's like they, you have brands where he's he messaged for over a month and he couldn't even get a response. And then he had brands, other brands that he messaged for weeks. And same thing. They don't want to give you things. But then I text takes me two seconds and they're like, yeah, 100 percent. We're getting into it because we we trust our product because they have nothing to hide. Exactly my point. Mm. So. That's the kind of companies I want to be a part of. And that's also the kind of company I want to be. Because yeah. if I, if in any, any area, like whatever happens and people are like, oh my God, I actually just found this new research that came out and it's like, you sell this product and blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, okay, oh my God, I want to be able to get to the bottom of this right now and like either continue holding this brand or dropping this brand and like talking to the brand and understanding like, okay, how did this happen? You know, that's genuinely how I want to be. So yeah, it's like I said, everything kind of just comes full circle with like what I've been preaching. And then now I can be who I've been preaching about. Yeah. You know, so I think that's cool. That's why I'm so excited for your brand, because also I text you and DM you. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, what was the magnesium that you use? Mm -hmm. And what's this that you use? And it's going to be so nice to have one place to just have all of it and to get it all. Because I know, like you were saying, it's the I ordered actually my makeup. You used to you told me about fit glow beauty i think mm -hmm. yeah, yeah i ordered from them and then i ordered the primarily the pure, primarily pure yeah. uh deodorant and like all that shit and like that that shipping does you yeah know, it's like all up. these different places and i just was like why can't i just do this in one spot which yeah. obviously that's now what i'm going to be doing so that's it's just gonna be happening. really it's gonna be really cool i'm really excited about it it's, i've had such like good feedback which i'm like Obviously, you hope. You want to be hopeful that yeah. you're going to have good feedback with things, you know? And I feel like I've been building my brand to get to this point, you know? Because a lot of people expected it and, mm -hmm. like, wanted something like this from me. And I was like, I don't just want to, like, come out with, like, 
booty bands yeah you know i get that i love booty bands i love a good booty band but for me i was like that's also just like not where i'm at right now it's also been done before it's already been done yeah i mean what i'm doing has also kind of been done like there's people who have i who i've looked up to and like do what i do but i just wanted to put my own spin on things and have like more of like a fitness like more fitness related Mm -hmm. products because that's my background which i have yet to come across a brand that is doing that exactly but yeah, I have great brands that I've I've been buying from that are kind of doing what I'm doing um, in a sense or I'll be doing what they're doing. And it's just so much inspo, but I just feel like I could on top of that, I could be another resource Absolutely. on top of those for people. But yeah, I would love to come out with like my own my own booty bands and stuff. But it's just like that's just not where I'm at right now. Yeah. You know, so right now I think this is the first step. And then hopefully down the line, I could really just increase access for people to have just well-rounded products in their home and just make it easier for them, you know? That's it. I love it. I just think, so it's been a couple months, I guess, since we last, like we had our first episode. And I think you told me you had like 3,000 followers Mm -hmm, and everything is just, you know, spiraled in that sense also. It's just like been blowing up, which I think is incredible. Yeah, it's weird. It's cool. It's cool. It's weird. It's a lot to like... Cause I'm going to school. I'm running a business now. I'm running like my whole entire social media. So like that in itself is work because I do like to answer every single person. Oh, you're hands on. I'm like, I'm yeah, I'm super hands on. Oh, so yeah. I'm like, I get scared when I'm like, the more followers I get, I was like, I hope I can get to everybody all the time. That personal connection. You mm-hmm. replied to everybody. You really put your heart and soul into everything, and that's completely seen. And uh, I'm just excited to see where it goes next. Too. I know. Me too. Hopefully, in a few months from now, we could. Do Come back again. into this all again. <laughs> It'll be a little less chaotic. Yo, today was chaotic energy. Yeah, the sun's out. Is there anything else going on that you want to, you know, tell everyone about? Or I mean, as of now, I feel like... Any other brands you want to just shit on? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but honestly, I love when you call brands out because it's, it's honestly things that it's I facts. did not even know. Because no one else is going to do it because they're scared of the backlash. Because I get it. Like, these brands have millions of followers so people it's like we're nasty to you on tiktok yeah people are nasty like because i'm telling you like i don't take it personal i just get it yeah. I, I don't take it personal i get people are emotionally connected to these brands mm-hmm. so i'm just like okay like don't shoot the messenger because i'm telling you the brand sucks go to the brand and be like why do you why do you why, why do you, do you have these you know go to the brand and ask them why they suck <laughs> literally don't shoot me because i'm just regret like i'm just looking into it for you 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 could have done this you know so yeah people get really emotional because like, i've been using this for 20 years and i feel fine and i'm like what's fine because there's no way you know although i do think it's like the minority but i think a lot of just people aren't aware that whatever issues they're having could be linked to what they're eating a lot of people don't make that connection i was out to dinner with some friends and they were saying how they had really bad migraines mm-hmm. and I brought up the conversation we had about how, you know, like candles and basically I just got laughed at. They were just like, that's definitely not it. And I was like, well, I'm not <laughs> saying that that is the only reason. Yeah. But if you take that information of like chemicals that could be, you know, being burnt and inhaled through your candles and then your cleaning products and then the foods you eat that you don't think about because you're so busy in school like maybe yeah maybe and also people don't want to think it's like it could be that simple no they just literally laughed at me and i was like well hey have fun with those migraines yeah yeah, at the end of the day i'm always like enjoy (laughs) i like i'm it's one of those things it's like i'll lead you to the water i can't make you drink it Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just that's the biggest thing and that's why i love having you on and I love telling people to go follow you because I think it's just important to have that knowledge. Like, yeah. I tell my family, but they're like, oh, I'm not going to give up drinking wine all the time. I'm like, that's fine. Like, we're Italian. There's no shot. We're <laughs> giving that up. But it's just one of those things. Like, it's not even an all the time thing. Like, I know yeah. you're very conscious of it and I've been conscious, but I still eat like cookies and like mm-hmm. stupid shit. That, But it's funny because now I have the lens of while I'm eating it, I'm like, you know this shit is bad. I'm like, you know that you could have picked a better option, but these yeah. taste good. Exactly. Because like for me, I still eat because people are like, then what do you eat? And I'm like, I eat whatever I want. Oh. I just make sure that it's 
cleaner that's it like i just make sure like i have like a certain like i have a few like i have like a no-no list in my head that i i stick to you know like i avoid artificial sweeteners at all costs like i'm never gonna eat something that has sucralose in it or whatever Mm -hmm. um i'm not gonna eat things with like natural flavorings artificial (laughs) thing yeah i'm just not gonna be eating stuff like that on a daily basis 100 percent and for me, it goes a little bit deeper than just not eating certain junk food. It's like, I don't, I also don't want to support these giant brands. Like it's a monopoly at this point. You know, there's like only nine corporations that own almost all the food on our shelves. I'm not, I don't want to support them, you know? So it's like when I find out like one of my favorite brands gets bought out by Pepsi or whatever, I know that it's going down the shithole. I already know that's coming because they try to cut costs and they just change the brand completely. So I always have to pay attention for that. But then also I have to I have to find something else. I have to find a new brand, you know? So that's also, again, what like Live Healthily is about because people don't have to worry that if, you know, if one of my brands gets bought out for whatever, I don't have to hold them anymore. That's yeah. it. Bye-bye. Toodaloo. Money back guaranteed, you know? Yeah. It's so simple, but it's not. For some reason, yeah. not everybody gets behind it. And it's like, no. it's gonna I, don't know, it. I don't know if I come off as like an asshole, but like once you... Once you have this information, to not follow it is just negligence to yourself. Like, yeah, I think... Or to um, the people you love that you food shop for. Like, I food shop for everyone in my house. So, like, I will pick certain things that I know just are better. Like, better options. Yeah. Same things we've been eating, but just better. Like, not as many... Like you said, artificial anything in it. Yeah, I think if you can, then you should, yeah. right? And you know, it doesn't have to be so expensive. I feel like that's like a big thing that the media, I think, pushes and just people in general that it's so expensive to eat healthy. And I'm like, you know what? I actually saved a lot of money by not buying $50 worth of snacks. You know, I just focus on my three big meals. Eggs, a a carton of eggs is not expensive, right? Whole grass-fed milk or like oat milk is really not that I could even make it myself which is even cheaper because I could just buy nuts in bulk and mm-hmm. soak them and do what I gotta do um and then just sticking to my main food groups like getting fresh or frozen vegetables which are even cheaper frozen veggies are so cheap and sticking to my oh, main I protein frozen vegetables oh really I don't mind them at really all. yeah I don't know I'm, if it's not fresh I really feel like it zapped the taste out of it <laughs> oh I mean maybe for some people I don't, I don't know. know I'm like problem. a diehard foodie. But the other thing, um, because oh, I, I just don't understand supplements. I know that you say you use pre-workout for like heavy leg days, mm-hmm. you know, to yeah, get I don't you through like every day. a super tough workout, which I can get behind that. But as far as supplements go, is it that you can just eat all of your vitamins or do you really have to be taking, you know, supplements? Yeah, so fine line, I think. So fitness supplements of any kind, I don't think are necessity at all. Like I think people can go their whole life and be extremely healthy and not have to take a protein powder, not have to take a greens powder, not have to take pre-workout. You don't have to, there's always substitutes, right? Like protein powder, real protein. Pre-workout, you could take vitamin B12, you can get beet beet juice or have a cup of coffee, like straight espresso. Mm -hmm. You know, like greens powder, just eat, seasonal greens right so that's like i think that's the best advice i could give somebody actually if you're like just starting your journey is like pay attention what's seasonal um and and buy that because it not only will be cheaper it'll also be fresher but also what grows during certain seasons also are the vitamins and minerals that we need for that season so i don't know how we got so fucking far away from that like yeah. in our in our like civilization, I know we're so advanced. Yeah, you know? but it's crazy that that is something that needs to be told to people. Yeah, like me, if like a pineapple is like pomegranates. Okay, this is the person because it's my favorite. Love pomegranates it. are only in season like September to like November, mm-hmm. December sometimes. Um, that's in season in New York area. Um, so me to eat a pomegranate now would make no sense unless it's being shipped in from somewhere but that's the point it's like now i'm contributing to the carbon footprint of that being shipped across the world to get to me okay which i don't want to contribute to two the pomegranate like although it's antioxidant rich it's not it's not grown by me so i don't really need those minerals right now right like that's made for september to december minerals where things are starting to die off and we need those antioxidants to just support our body during the winter the winter months. Mm-hmm. The same thing with oranges. I think oranges are actually a winter fruit. Like they're 
most prominent around like December. And it's like, why? Vitamin C. We need vitamin C to, st- to keep our immune that's system really up. Interesting. Yeah, that's like a whole like different, but that's like a really good way for people to one, save money on eating fruits and veggies because I get it can be very expensive. They're also not contributing to getting things shipped all the way half across the world mm-hmm. just so we could have, you know, bananas in the middle of whatever. Yeah. So that's like another way I think people can spend a lot like to save a lot of money and also support their body during different seasons instead of being like, oh, I need a greens powder all the time every day. It's like you really don't. That's another thing is like that was me definitely at first when I first started to learn about all of this. It was always me like pointing the finger like how could you be eating that? Meanwhile, I was just eating that like a month ago. Um, So I really had to get out of that mindset of being like... like let me just really focus on me and like what I'm doing and I think that's also kind of what pushed my page forward is because although I'm I'm showing people what not to eat I'm also showing people what I do do and like what I am using as my shampoo my conditioner and like my candles like I really it's not just me getting rid of my fitness supplements like this is a whole lifestyle for me and I've made it I've made it easy like I don't feel like I've sac I don't feel like I've sacrificed anything you know I feel Like, I have nice candles just like anybody else does. I have nice fragrance. I have nice cleaning products. Like, my laundry cleans the same. But it's like, I'm using things that are just so much gentler and not contributing to hormone disruption or my migraines or my bloating or anything. So, I don't feel... I might feel like a sacrifice at first, which it definitely did because I was like, shit, I have to get rid of all my favorite stuff and I have to replace it with this stuff that I don't really know or like or anything. Mm -hmm. But I've grown to just really be so passionate about it. Um, And I don't feel like I'm... You know, I'm really just focused on myself and I was like, well, if I'm doing what I'm doing, then other people can benefit from the products I'm using and how that they've worked for me because yeah. I feel like they really have. I don't feel like I, my makeup looks the same, but I use all clean makeup, it you know, damn good. you know, so it's like, I'm not doing anything. I don't feel like I'm, I'm yeah, like I said, beating a dead horse, but I feel like I'm, I don't, I'm not sacrificing anything with my lifestyle at all. I don't feel like I'm missing out. Yeah, I just think it's really interesting. And I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like leave in the comments just your initial thoughts when you hear this conversation. Because if you haven't listened to Illy's previously, or if you don't follow Illy or like heard our first episode, I'm just curious to see like if there's a visceral reaction of being like, no, I don't agree with that. Or like, you sound crazy. Or if you're like, wow, that's a really good point. I never thought of that perspective. Mm -hmm. Because... Yeah, I'm always curious to see, like, where people's heads are at. I always get that stuff on TikTok. Like, people are very adamant about telling me that they don't agree with whatever I'm doing. And I'm like, hey, it's been working for me. And it's been working for uh, almost every single person that I've ever come into contact with. So I'm like, there must be some truth to it, you know, I feel like. (laughs) It's one of those things. It's like, you can't, (laughs) that's the thing. Everyone has a different thing that works for them or a different product Mm -hmm. or whatever lifestyle. But you can't ignore the science of, and I know we use that word pretty loosely because it's, I want to talk about TikTok a little bit more. I know we've been going for a while, but uh, worst, least favorite and like best part of TikTok. The best would be, I don't know, that's tough because TikTok's rough. TikTok's rough. Yeah. Um, I guess the best would be just like actually seeing how many people relate to my journey and like my story i think that's the coolest thing like because now i have like forty thousand followers on there which i've never experienced that in my life so i was like what the hell um but it's cool because i know that all those people are coming on here because they want to learn more so i just focus on that and then obviously the downside is that you know i get attacked by you know food scientists and just people who are like have been in the fitness industry and they're like well i've been using these products for 10 years and i feel great and i'm like okay well it's like good, but hmm. not everybody. Feels not everyone time. wants to look like you, and also not everyone's working as hard as you. Clearly, <laughs> so you know we're talking about the average person here, yeah. which most of us are suffering with twenty different diseases at once. You know, I've. This is funny because I truly, I say this, I'll repeat it. I look at things so differently after starting following you, mm-hmm. and someone put up the whole. Um, everything is chemicals yeah and uh, and i i yeah it's like this is to me is like common sense because it's like of course everything is a chemical (laughs) like obviously like if i take my take apart my shoe and we go back to its makeup it's chemicals together and they make the shoe um 
but like the chemical makeup of a banana that maybe comes from nature and is grown on a tree is going to be completely different from the chemical makeup of a concoction that was made in a lab by two scientists throwing things together and they're like here you go this is uh, sugar now yeah, it or it comes this, is, like, this tastes like banana now it's like no yeah like so if someone shows you a synthetically banana flavor which it's all chemicals they're like guess what there's no banana in this but i it tastes like a banana it's wild that might be cool in theory but i'm like all right how is this gonna affect my life where like i could just eat a banana yeah and get the same effect i'm just amazing. and more benefits it, it comes down to this you either care about synthetic things mm-hmm. and fake things going into your body or you don't i think yeah that's and i think that's that's that lands on the the person and I always I always tell people and I try to reiterate this as much as possible it's like I'm giving you the information now this is called informed consent so now you're informed and now it's up to you to consent if you continue if you want to continue to eat a b and c product right I'm just here to show you the message right so if you love woman's best or you love ghost proteins or whatever that's fine But now you know what's in it. So let's say I'm telling you, okay, this ghost protein is linked to, I don't know, um, IBS. And you're like, well, I'm still going to be taking it. I'm like, Mm -hmm. okay, cool. That's on you. That does not affect my life at all. But in 10 years when you have IBS, (laughs) you're going to come back and be like, shit. And that, that's, but it's, again, that's, that's still on you. But like, at least now you know where you can pinpoint it to. Yeah. Instead of playing the guessing game, you know. I think that's one of the most interesting parts is it's having the foresight to understand that sure right now it's fine Mm -hmm. and I can do this and I can even take it even if it's been fine for you having the same product for 10 years Mm -hmm. which was me yeah I used it for a very long time it's just at what point do you realize like or when it's too late is that when it's gonna matter that's my thing that's I mean that's most people like and there's people who even when it is too late they don't care like I know I have family members who have had you know, heart bypass surgery because they had a heart attack and then they go right back to eating McDonald's. So it's like, that's just human nature. Like you're always going to have people like that. It's eye opening. I just hope people, uh, just pay attention more. That's it. Like, but in every aspect of life, guys, seriously, ask questions. Just like, don't, don't accept everything just because, you know, the marketing told you. Yeah. And don't like buy thing, like buy things like on impulse. Like I take my time (laughs) buying. Yeah, I really now I take my time buying products. Like I'm not just going to buy something because it's cute. Like it might be enticing. Like they did a really good job marketing it. But like I'm going to take my time. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to email them. I'm going to ask their questions. I mean, that's all. We hit everything that I I basically had to cover. (laughs) Um, If you guys have any questions for Illy, please leave them in the comments on the YouTube channel. And we're absolutely going to have her back because you and I can sit here and talk forever. Uh, Well, thank you for coming on again. Thanks for having me. Guys, make sure to go drop like the URL, everything. Yeah. So obviously you could find me at Healthily. It's health and then I-L-L-I-E. Um, and then my website is livehealthily.com and you can also subscribe to my newsletter so you guys know like all updates and like when I restock everything and we launch on Monday. So yeah, so actually it'll be out as of right now. So you can go shop it and yes. see. I think everything's going to sell out because I I'm already scared. Know. I'm scared. I already know I'm, what I'm buying. So <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, thanks guys. Subscribe, like this video. Um, if you'd like to support the podcast, you can do so at anchor.fm slash lanefable. And I'll see you on the next episode. Peace out. Love you guys. (laughs) Damn, I'm a mess today. Keep yawning. It's because I took forever to start. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know how to sit in these new chairs. I feel like.